Hello, welcome back. Today, let's try to solve another lead code problem. 2760, longest even odd subarray with the threshold. So, let me explain the question a little bit. So, we are have, having a num subarray. It is 3, 2, 5, and 4. And the threshold is 5. We need to meet conditions. So, for one condition, all the numbers should be less than and equal to the threshold. And another condition is that the numbers, let me check. So the, the nums i, the nums l should be started with an odd number. So for example, it will be 2. And then there's also another condition. The third condition is that it should be alternating. It is, uh, should be even odd. So the first one is the even, and the next one is odd. And the next one is even. So we need to find the longest. 2, 5, and 4, it is the longest. So we're going to return 3. So this is a template problem. So I call it a list groups problem. It is a subset of sliding windows. And for sliding windows, it's a subset of two pointers. But we need to, yeah, if we were to learn the pattern, basically we need to divided the patterns as small as possible. Now we can pick up the patterns and learn it quickly. And I've already solved nine more similar problems of list groups. So this is the last one. I hope I can finish this one. And after that, I will yeah, prepare all the code and the videos. And also I will prepare all the question list in the descriptions. Now let me finish my writing of the template. But before writing, let me explain a little bit about it. How should we list it to the group? So for the first one, three, it's not ever an answer, so we're going to not consider it. But for the next one, it is a two. We will consider it. Two, five, four is a group. So we're going to list it as a group and return the result. Let's check if there are more examples. Yeah, for this one, two, three, four, we list it as a group. Yeah, because this 5 is more than the threshold, so we will not consider it. We just need to return a 3. Now let me finish this question. So we're going to prepare the result and i and n. So the result should be 0. Let me check. Yeah, so num.less is just 100. And uh, let's, let's see if there's no such uh, numbers starting with odd, maybe always uh, starting with even numbers, maybe always starting with odd numbers, it will return a zero. Yeah, so the result will be start with zero, and i will be zero, because it's the first index, and n will be length of the nums. Now we are going to use the template directly. So while i less than n, we're going to check the conditions, because for this question, we need to check the conditions. Where are we going to start from? Because 3, of course, is not a possible result. We are not going to start from 3. Yeah. So we need to have a check. So if there are two conditions, so yeah, if nums i modulo 2 if this nums i modulo 2, it means if it is odd, or nums i more than the threshold. It means we are not going to check it. We just need to update the i and continue. After that, if it is OK, it means it meets the conditions we're going to check. Yeah, we have to write the template code like this. Otherwise, you're going to miss some conditions and you're going to miss, make, make mistakes. Yeah, because this is just their own solution. It's really fast. Yeah. Maybe you can use n square two loops. You can avoid making mistakes. Yeah, but it's not the fastest algorithm. So for the fastest algorithm, it is called, yeah, for me, it is called list groups algorithm. Basically, it's two pointers or sliding windows. It's the same. Yeah. But uh, uh, specifically, make it uh, more accurate. Yeah. I, I think if we make it a list groups, it will be more clear about the problem. Now we are going to check. So for the start, will be equal to i. 
and we are going to check the template. So for the template, it will be i less than n minus 1. Yeah. And here, if i less than n minus 1, it means at least from here, yeah, we need to check the conditions because this is not enough. And we need to check the conditions if this is OK or not. So we need to copy this code. So we need to copy it. Yeah. So if nums i modulo 2 not equal to nums i plus 1 modulo 2, yeah, it, 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 it means it is uh, even with odd, odd with even, like that. And we should also check the threshold because uh, up to here, nums i, we need to check i plus 1. Because the start for the i, it is OK. Because from here, if it is more than thre threshold, we're going to continue. So here means this i is OK. But here, the i plus 1 is not OK. So the nums i plus 1 should also less than and equal to the threshold. If that is OK, we will update the i pointer to the right side. After that, we're just going to get the result. So the result will be i minus start plus 1. And after that, we just need to update the i and return the result. So for this question, there's no overlap. It's different from uh, lead code 2765 because there's no overlap. We don't need to check here. Yeah, but for lead code 2765, we don't need i to update by one. Yeah, it's always depended on the problem. Now let me run it to check if it works. As you can see, it works. Now let me submit it to check if it can pass all the testing cases. As you can see, it passed all the testing cases, and it's nearly 100% because it is just ON time complexity. And by the way, when we are using the template, if the description of the problem is complex, yeah, it is not starting from the first part we're going to check. We must find some part first. We're going to add some code to use a if condition and continue. After that, it will be simpler, much simpler than before, because inside we just need to check the conditions. This one not equal to this one. And here maybe, yeah, you might forget. And then you find an error and you can correct it because of the threshold you might be forget. You, you might think here it is OK. But this is just one number. You need to also check other numbers after that. So this is why i plus 1 should also less than or equal to the threshold. After that, everything should be the same. Thank you for watching. If you think this is helpful, please like and subscribe. I will upload more lead code problems like that. See you next time.